Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today I want to have a look at and do a benchmark of some of this memory that I picked up over the holiday seasons. Of course, we get lots of new technology and we need more memory to support it. So, yeah, once again, what I want to do is a speed test. We have mostly USB 3.0 here. Remember, there's definitely a difference between USB 3.0 and 3.1 and whatever comes after that, I forget at this particular moment. These particular, everything here is new except for this and this. I'm just going to use those as a baseline benchmark within our benchmarks. But anyways, within the new stuff, um, 32 gigabytes. Bought this for $10. It says it's USB 3.0 and that it's capable of speeds up to 150 megabytes a second. I'll believe that when I see that. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be getting about 30 megabytes a second out of this. Now over here we got a micro SD card. And of course they use different speeds in the USB. You can't call micro uh, SD USB 3.0 or 3.1 or anything like that. So they have their own speeds. Now check this out, thank you autofocus. Over here we have the U1 and the A10. And that means it's guaranteed to transfer at 10 megabytes a second. So this is good for 10 megabytes a second minimum, minimum. Now over here we have the upgraded version, a little bit uh, more power, faster, stronger, more alive. If you ever notice that some of your cameras take a little bit long to take a picture, it's because of the memory speed for the most part. So anyways, right here, 128 gigabytes, V30, a 3U, A2, what all that tells you basically is you're getting a minimum of 30 megabytes a second out of this. Okay, next up, I want to talk about the A classifications. Right next to the U3 and the, A and the 10 in the circle, you'll see an A1 or an A2. That's talking about maximum speeds. If you're in a situation where you're running apps off of your phone from an SD card, you'll probably want the SD card to be an A2. That's maximum top speed. U3, Circle 10, that's talking about uh, guaranteed minimum speed, but these ones can definitely go a lot faster. So if you have a really fast camera, you're going to want something better. Or if you want to be able to take more pictures quicker with your camera, you'll want to get faster kinds of memory. So this kind of memory right here is more along the lines of the USB 3.0 unit, which we have over here that's going to be a little bit faster this is not going to be as fast as that but odds are it's going to be exactly what you need now i've heard of people actually running steam games off of micro sd cards and if i was to do that i would definitely want a faster one next up we'll check out the sandisk ultra fit i got this 256 gigabytes for 50 bucks can you imagine that can you imagine how cheap this memory is compared to how much it used to be 15 years ago that kind of stuff i'd have to have on a giant hard drive and it would be about 250 bucks man i can't believe how small this has got uh, let me tell you something guys whoa so i'm going to uh compare the speeds of these things and i really don't think there'll be much of a difference even though this is usb 3.0 and this is usb 3.1 and then once again i'll test them against my m2 to uh m2 usb 3.1 uh to usb and then over here this is a cheap 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 card that i got used with a oh geez what was it the intel stick so this is a u1 this should transfer at 10 megabytes a second let's test it out let's see how we can do folks so first things first, let's check out this USB 3.0 drive from SanDisk and then we'll switch over to this USB 3.1 drive and see what the speed difference is like. Oh wow, okay so here are the results of the speed test. Um, 152 megabytes a second, just like they said it would be. Now let me see what it's like to transfer my video file to it. Yeah, so when I go to copy my video file, it only transfers at about 20 megabytes a second. Of course, different formats seem to transfer differently, so I can't exactly say why. I've managed to transfer this at a maximum of about 300 megabytes over the, uh, the M2 drive. I was expecting to get about 30 megabytes a second, but I'm only getting 20, 25 max. Next up, let's try out the 256 gigabyte Ultra Fit 3.1 and see if it's any faster. Test is completed. That's kind of funny. I mean, that score is definitely slower than the, the 3.0 unit. Somehow, video's moving a heck of a lot faster though. 60 megabyte speed transfer of my test video. And that's the same video file as I was transferring last time, so. 
right, I've run the test again, and every time I go through it, it turns out that this USB 3.1 unit benchmarks lower than the USB 3.0, but in actual transfer rates is faster. I don't know what's going on there, but anyways, let's move on. Next up, let's check out the U1 SD card. M micro SD card. <laughs> okay, wow. That, uh, that really took a nosedive. That really took a crazy nosedive when it came to speed. I wasn't expecting it to get that low. The test video file moving along slowly at about 18 megabytes a second. Next up, let's check out the faster Extreme SanDisk. Uh, yeah, I was definitely expecting better speeds than that. I mean, the slower one was supposed to get 27 test on the top left. Let's try moving a file directly to it. Well, we're definitely transferring faster, not much faster, almost 20 megabytes a second. Once again, these video files that I use as a test, I always use the exact same file as a test and transfer. So yeah, there's the info, but 20 megabytes actual. Still, I can't complain. I mean, it's fast enough for my uses. Next up, we got the white label card that I got with something on eBay. I have managed to find a... Come on, autofocus. I have managed to find a Amazon listing for it. Okay, so just like I was expecting, it is the slowest of them all. We are just about, geez, you know, 10, 13 megabytes a second. Yeah, yeah, definitely not the best transfer, but price I paid. I can't complain at all. Lastly, let's try the M.2 to USB 3.1 see what kind of speed we can get with this bad girl. Oh yeah, that's definitely pretty fast. Just as fast as I was expecting. Man, both USB 3.1 speeds, that's max. Transfer time is 315 megabytes a second. So, here we got the overall results. All of these units are definitely relatively fast, but some are a lot faster than others. We got a while to go until we can make a thumb drive as fast as an M2 to USB drive. That's some pretty crazy high speeds. You see we have a long way to go. USB 3.0, USB 3.1, the max speeds that I'm getting off these things are just crazy good. I'm so happy with this considering how I think 30 megabytes a second from IDE drive to IDE drive was a big deal about 10, 15 years ago. So the fact these things are so cheap and so small just blows me away. But I do wonder if maybe back in the day that 256 gig IDE drive that cost me $250, would it last longer? Would it have more read writes? Because remember these days, uh, all of this memory can only be used so many times and it will wear out and it will break much like a ball bearing much like a, a spinning hard drive, but I wonder which will last longer in the long run. I guess it matters how many hours you put into it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you today. Nev from Nev's Tech, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. As always, take care of each other, folks. Link in the description.